This is Zoom's R4 Multitrack. What's it all about? How does it work? And is it any good? Let's dive straight in. The first thing I noticed about Zoom's R4 is that it's super easy to use. It's aimed specifically at musicians. You don't have to be super technically minded to get a great result from this recorder. It has a built-in microphone at the front and also two combi ins which accept both quarter inch and XLR connections for which there's also onboard 48 volt phantom power. It's super portable because it runs off four AA batteries or powered USB. This four track recorder also features an extra bounce track so you can record these four tracks down and bounce them all to that separate bounce track, leaving you with a new fresh clean slate of another four tracks. If you perform the bounce but you're not happy with it, there's also a really handy undo button there too, so you can give it another shot. And you can record and bounce and record and bounce as much as you want with the R4, but when you finish working on your track, here's the really neat thing. You can connect it up to your computer and all those bounce tracks still exist as individual WAVs that you can mix however you want inside your DAW. The R4 also features 32-bit float with so much headroom there's no need for gain adjustments, making this perfect for recording live bands. It doubles up as an audio interface. It can be mounted to a tripod. The R4 has a whole bunch of input effects including amp, sims and mic preamps and your usual suspects for post effects like a three band EQ, reverb and delay. You want click tracks? It's got click tracks. It's also got a whole bunch of different genres of drum tracks too and everything records down onto this micro SD. Currently in the UK the R4 is selling for under £200. So that's what it's all about. Let's get recording with the R4. Keep them on track You must move on Let them keep looking back Runaway trains Run off the rails Caught in a storm With no wind in the sails Sitting on the fence To keep them on track You must move on Let them keep looking back that's the recording completed on the R4 and I've got to say it's been a really fun and enjoyable experience. There's just the right amount of buttons to make the creative workflow move along really smoothly and I was really pleased to see there weren't any irritating touchscreen functions or really long-winded sub-menus. Everything was thought out very carefully and sensibly. Zoom's pedigree and experience making these Porter Studios over quite a lot of years really shines through. Something I came across which I hadn't mentioned at the top of this video was an inbuilt tuner which was really, really helpful. Connecting the R4 via USB-C to my iMac was super smooth and simple as was bouncing with the R4 and even though I bounced those tracks a bit too hot and recorded a couple of the tracks a bit too hot too, nothing clipped thanks to that 32-bit float. But of course, the R4 isn't just limited to studio recording. With its battery-powered versatility, Zoom's R4 can go with you wherever you go. Making it a very handy piece of kit if you want high-quality audio on your outdoor YouTube videos and podcasts. And if you're just starting out and you don't have yourself your own microphone, the inbuilt one and the Zoom R4 will come in pretty handy. So Zoom's R4 then, I've got to say, I've really enjoyed using the R4 today. And I feel quite hard pushed to think of anything that I really didn't like so much about it. But if you did push me, I would say when dialing in some of those input effects, uh, the guitar and bass amps and some of the vocal uh, preamps, it all got a little bit fiddly. And I would have much rather have uh, one knob control on there to make life and workflow a lot easier. That said, 
I can understand why Zoom haven't included that and how much they wanted to keep the price to a very reasonable sub £200. But it is very intuitive, it's incredibly well thought out and it's very responsive and fast when you're working with it. I mean, it's such a versatile device. It could be a dictaphone, it could record multi-miked interviews, you could use it for sketching ideas, for recording decent demos or even with that versatile bounce function for recording a whole album. So if you're working in a small studio or working with a small budget, Zoom's R4 is well worth a look at. I think this unit is just incredible. I'm Johnny Good for Real Home Studio. I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe, but most importantly, go and have yourself a great day. And if you enjoyed this video, you're probably gonna wanna check this one out.